get into the chopper now. and welcome everybody to Fortnite number five when it comes to the early footage that I have done I apologize in advance because this is one of the first ones I have ever recorded and I made some pretty weird decisions because there's some stuff that I like skipped um, but I guess at the moment I thought that it wasn't necessary or something like that you know that from the other four uh, Fortnite episodes you have seen footage from all perspectives enemies myself different angles and all that and for this one it's a bit lacking but uh, you'll know exactly the point on everything but this is a bit short of a video it could have been longer had I explored all of my um, you know just uh, my horizon but regardless you might look at some familiar faces like I said this is pretty early on uh, either season 7 or 8 I, th I think it's 7 no no it's 8 because it has the planes and right now I'm headed to that place which I don't remember what it is called but it has like the hedges and uh, there's like a secret laboratory with like a rift in it is that place I'm heading to right now and uh, you might see like a little tiny skip with me going straight to the tree. This is the type of stuff I'm talking about. I kind of just did that. And I'm not sure why I made these decisions, but I did. It's a very interesting game, you know. Like uh, the other ones that I had before, I was looking for a best friend. And for this one, I think I just want to practice a little bit and then eventually explore looking for you know my so-called Avengers team but this is what I'm talking about with my skips like I'm pretty sure I went a little bit thorough in the maze um, but yeah this is one of my favorite spots I land in I miss this place so very much but there's always like a treasure box in the middle here you always have to be careful around these spots back then because you know anybody could just get a gun and just shoot up when you're on top of that thing but you go down here and there's like a little secret laboratory um, I'm not sure what this laboratory is for, but uh, it is interesting nonetheless. And the, you know, I put a trap here just in case anybody were to sneak up on me. The spike traps work well there, and you could also put it uh, right around there. But yeah, these are one of the decisions that I kept talking about as well. Like I fast forwarded all this because if I had not fast forwarded and showed this footage off, you would have just seen a lot of stuff skipped over. So I wanted ask you guys how you feel about that do you not care whether there's some spots uh, will get skipped over as long as I get straight to the point on some things or um, do you guys want to see what stuff I got throughout the areas I explore that's that's part of the reason why I don't know I think cuz I was more excited showing what it was later on I'm just trying to think of what I was thinking here but uh, this is an item you haven't seen in a while, balloons, unless they brought them back in a future video and you're watching this from a while ago. I got balloons right here and I like using balloons around this spot because I already noticed that the circle is pretty damn small. Or not pretty damn small, but pretty freaking far. So I'm going to have to rift right here. I usually, every time I uh, get my things, I get ready and I wait for the counter to count down. That's another thing where you could tell this is early footage. There's no background and game audio uh, so you could tell that these are one of the first few ones I was like exploring how I'm gonna record all this so that's another reason why all the footage is messed up so another skip right here going straight down to where I want to land at I think this place was called Loot Lake is where I'm headed to um, Loot Lake is in my opinion pretty hard to go fight across I remember I had a duos partner that likes to go here a lot and we go on the outer skirts of that place and then work our ways inner uh, and there's always people around there and um, if it's not loot lake there's always people at tilted towers and then they go over here or maybe the other way around um, but that's the area I'm heading to right now that's where the circle lies I thought I was going to straight up land there if I'm going to be honest, 
but uh, yeah, that's the next destination right now. Because the circle, uh, you ever had those games in Fortnite where you just the whole game just chasing the storm? It's not so much this case because I was very much on top of that. Like I had a rift ready to go through, and I had balloons uh, to speed it up a little bit. And I don't remember how the balloons worked. I think how it works was like one balloon you could just, you know, use a hop like you used like the hop fish. And then two balloons would make it a little bit more floatier to go jump a lot farther and stuff like that. And as you can see in the background, there's the storm right there. And yeah, now I'm in Loot Lake. There you go. And I think three balloons you go really high up. And I don't know if it's so high up or anything like that, or if it keeps going all the way up until five balloons. But it's one of the two, I feel. Um, I could swear I could put up to like, uh, three or five balloons. Um, eventually when you go up too high in the sky, it will pop and then you will descend. Anybody could just shoot you down and kill you via fall damage. But if you look at the top right, you see this guy with like all these builds. Remember that guy, he's very important. He does very unorthodox builds, and we're gonna see his perspective in a little bit. So, at least I did that part. I just didn't do all these other things, but yeah, he jumps across. Uh, this is around the time where gliders were pretty common uh, around these parts. You could just find them everywhere. So, uh, even with these unorthodox builds, all if anybody just shoots them down, he could just fly towards you, and then he could find you quicker, maybe not. And that guy also has a sniper is the thing. So I was waiting right there because I don't know if the coast is clear or not. Since the storm begins right there, I didn't want to run off and be noticed because Loot Lake doesn't really have anything to hide behind uh, except for the fact that there's rocks and I'm hiding behind a waterfall. If I were to run across, I, I stick out like a sword thumb. I'm wearing white with like neon red. I, I stick out, you know, where a place is just green and blue. But anyway, this is this other guy's perspective. I'm pretty sure he killed them. I'm not entirely sure. Um, I think this person name is Onesie, like the skin. Yeah, he killed them. I don't, I don't know how. This is he had some questionable kills, but like I said, very important character um, in this game. He. It, you know, usually in a normal case now of how I always do different perspectives on different people, I would have done the perspective of the other guy he, that got via sniped, but I didn't do that. But this person loves to climb high for no reason. Um, you know, like I said, I would probably love to shoot him down, but he has a glider, so yeah. Uh, someone else is shooting at him, and this is what I'm talking about. He'll just go over and glide down. It's like, he wasted so much freaking mats though, like, I, I wish I could build very high up like that, but I, I don't want to waste them either, but you can see that balloon up from a different person, and I'm pretty sure he sniped them as well, I think, I'm not entirely sure, yeah he did, like, I don't even see this, like, how did he even, I don't know, but there he goes again, he's climbing back up, rinse and repeat, this is his uh, motto, he just do questionable snipes and all that, and uh, that was around the time where I saw him glide over. I didn't see uh, the full kill, but I was very much aware and hear everything what's going on, and I didn't know if he was going to spot me. So, the storm is about to close in, so I have to go very, very soon. Before I do that, just finishing off his footage, because right here you're going to see a quick snipe, which makes more no sense because she literally just shot through the freaking wall and he starts clapping it's like no, you know you can't fool me you're definitely hacking somehow like how is it that you shot through the the roof before it, it got fully materialized that makes no sense you know people always question me whenever i go through people's builds but it's not me it's this machine that i i used to hack like, I don't really understand, man, like, it, it, just because I'm skillful enough to go through things, and, I, I don't know, man, I'm just saying, I don't think this person has, maybe he has a different type of machine, I think that's what it is, but, again, doing some questionable, uh, building for no reason, um, but he's out of region, because I'm, uh, it's a bit too far for me, that's how the replays work, 
So you're gonna see them disappear in a little bit and then reappear uh, and then disappear again because yeah, it works in mysterious ways on how this... I don't know why you're building that high up, sir. Um, as you can see, the snowy mountains, very far off, uh, is where the next circle is actually at. I remember uh, the Ice King's castle on the left. That Oh, man, I miss that place so much, too. There's a lot of places on this, man. And then, like, the airplane place. And that's where I'm heading to. That's where the final circle is, so I use a balloon, and this is well over where he's like about to kill the third guy. So, I'm using a balloon to travel, he's trying to be careful at the same time, you know, and this is a little bit fast forwarded. Again, let me know what you guys think about this. Um, I guess what I could do, if you guys do want me to skip around like this, in like, just going to place to place, I could just have it where you won't see like the, the, you know, like the, what's that called? The work table thing? What was that? You saw that? That was a weird glitch right there. I don't know. But, uh, <laughs> you see that crazy build in the background? That's what I'm talking about. This looks so weird. Like, at least, like, this isn't Jenga. You can't just put any, any blocks wherever you want. Like, that thing's gonna fall eventually, man. You can't just stack whatever thing and assume it's not gonna knock down. You know, imagine if Fortnite had physics like that where, like, you have to have something supportive or else all that thing will just tip over. Oh my god, that would be awful. There'd be so many builds knocked over or I guess not too many like I said it's just this guy with this unorthodox builds but uh you know if, if it's foreshadowing or anything you would know that maybe perhaps I will see him soon oh you guys already know this anyway this is the airplane place I used to always love landing here too oh my gosh the planes here are awesome I start shooting a snowman because people could hide in there that's the thing and uh again it's skipping around. I'm not sure why I decided to, to skip around a lot there, but um, there's not too many people left. I don't really recall how many people are left though. I think there were six of them. And I was trying to watch out if there's anybody in these buildings and whether they looted them or not. And uh, it's kind of a weird angle why I kind of did it towards her and not towards where I'm looking at. But uh, I'm going inside. And I'm like waiting for the final circle to commence. I have two balloons. I still have extra balloons to go to. Got an SMG ready. I don't think I use those as often anymore, but um, nonetheless, look at the little husky. Oh man. Oh, I miss that husky too. I, I usually put on a different backpack, but god dang. God dang, I miss all this. Man. And, you know, the fact that they have helicopters nowadays, like in, you know, during the, the time of recording, uh, the helicopters, you, you, if you were to shoot, you literally have to get out of the hel helicopter and start shooting, or the chopper, whatever you want to call it. Get into the chopper, now! But, there's attack helicopters, like, in, in real life. If there was machine guns that you could shoot on a person, that'd be a lot better and they'll be more used for the helicopter. But I guess it would be broken, because all you have to really do is just crash into a person. But planes, like, the ones with, uh, this is straight up airplane, it has guns on them around this season, around way back then. This was like two years ago on this footage, but yeah, like I said, just in case you're wondering why I'm just walking around back and forth and standing around, this is probably something that's suitable to be skipped. Uh, it's because, like I said, the final circle is ready. Oh, uh, and yeah, I think I saw that briefly. It said three people or four people or something like that. And I'm not entirely sure if I captured it, like when the person he was spraying before, or if it, or, or, or if that was the same person he was fighting, but he's fighting somebody. The same uh, onesie person with, I don't know, I keep wanting to call her Powder as well, but Powder is the character I'm using currently. But uh, he's trying to break through, shoot some, and yeah. And I think I saw a turret. Um, turrets is something else that I missed. It was like the... I, I don't know if it's considered a trap, but it's one of those placement uh, weapons that you have to put down and, and you stay in one place and just start shooting. I missed those two, but he's like building up a crazy bunch, he keeps going through his ramp, so I'm not really sure 
like he's obviously not new to building but it, he, he's kind of out there regardless though it's just me versus this person uh, he's trying to find where I am he's wondering where the heck maybe I'm out here in the snow he's looking towards his crazy ass builds and um, and I'm in here just trying to anticipate just waiting to see when's the next opportunity to find the person because like I said I can hear all this from inside the airplane shuttles so he goes gliding through the house and I think he does see me because around this point is where I finally get out and then start flying towards the next position of the circle because it was away from me I was hoping for the circle to be uh, towards me but I had to get out and I don't recall if I put spikes or not but this is what I'm talking about with the three balloons thing uh, you can go really really high up I guess it was three balloons maybe it wasn't five balloons after all and I keep seeing stuff like fall off I don't know it's so weird I, the snowflakes sometimes look like something's shooting snowballs or something speaking of shooting this guy is trying to snipe me that's what I mean that he spotted me already. I don't know how. Like, this person has, like, Hawkeye vision or something. But I get on the build since I know that that person is way on the other side. I try to set up. And then I just try to anticipate, get ready for when he approaches because I'm not going to approach him. Not with the pace of my balloons. You can easily predict how I move and then therefore I could get sniped or even shot down and die even if I'm really high up but he shoots my builds down I try to build uh, some more you know he has to reload and then he goes shoots out for another one all I have to do is just put it on the wall so he gets impatient and then he goes whip out his gun in a second and then just starts spraying and this is where I start panicking because I'm all like oh geez stop and he keeps on doing it and I keep on putting walls up he really wants to snipe me and uh he probably would have got me because he's uh it's evident that he has hacking sniper material where he could just snipe through walls i guess you know come to think of it why didn't he just do that is straight up snipe through the wall like he did on the other person but either way i believe the other person gets impatient and then he starts rushing over he uses a launch pad flies over and then tries to go in for the kill because he knows that he can't just uh, waste bullets forever and then boom it's about time to face this person 1v1 with my balloon and it popped no no and I had won the match via bullshit but I think he deserved it because he's kind of an unorthodox uh, person to build I think it's best to put him down for the sake of Fortnite. But yeah, this is to improve myself. And then next time, I'll go find my fellow Avengers to assemble a team. And that is it. So, White Tigers and Dragons to you. If you like this, don't forget to press the like button. If you're new, subscribe. Hit the no notification bell. And White Tigers and Dragons to you. And you've been scarred by the night. I'm out.